Hello replayers and fellow citizens of YouTube, this is Mr. Ultimate, and if you follow me on Twitter or you happen to notice the title of today's vlog before you opened it up, you know that today I'll be talking about anxiety and depression. First I want to apologize for not being my normal self, not the self that you guys get to see most often, and I want to promise you I'm going to try to keep this video from being too much of a downer. but. I felt it was important to talk about this for two reasons. The first being that I want to keep my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting me informed about what's going on, especially since there are a lot of you who have made it very clear that you're supporting me not just as a YouTuber, but as a friend and as someone you care about. Thank you very much, by the way. <laughs> I don't say that enough and I don't think I ever could. But I want to let you guys know what's going on with me and the channel. And most of all, let you know that despite the fact that I am in the middle of a pretty admittedly heavy bout of anxiety and depression, I'm okay. And I'm going to continue to be okay. This isn't new. I've been dealing with this for years. And I know I can get through it. And I know I will be okay no matter what is going on in my head. I also want to talk to you guys about this because there might be someone out there who's dealing with similar issues. And I hope that the biggest takeaway from me talking about it is that you realize it's okay to talk about it. It's not something that you have to hide. It's not something that you have to be ashamed of. It doesn't make you any less, and it doesn't make you weak that you're going through this. Way more people than you probably realize deal with this every day. And the big tragedy is, is that too many people feel like they have to hide it, and that keeps them from getting help. So if there's anything you can get away from this video, let it be that there is help, you can get help, and you can get through it. So, before I dive too deep into today's subject matter, let me tell you about today's featured game. Considering how heavy today's subject matter is, I wanted to counterbalance that by showing you guys a game that is truly exceptional and I feel is worth getting excited about, and that's Leap of Fate, which was sent to me by indie developer Clever Plays. This is an isometric cyberpunk themed roguelite game in which you play one of four mages who is entering the crucible of fate to be tested. Inside they'll be confronted with their deepest fears and their inner demons, which is a theme that kind of fits with today's subject matter but I honestly didn't plan and I didn't really realize until I started laying out what I was going to say about the game. But if you can overcome all the tests presented by the crucible of fate, you will learn that character's fate. Leap of Fate has everything that I can ask for in a roguelike game. It has very fast paced and addictive gameplay. It has procedurally generated levels, over a hundred enemies, over a hundred different magical skills to learn, and even the skill trees are randomly generated so that every playthrough is going to be truly unique. In addition, because it's a roguelite game, there are things that you can carry over from playthrough to playthrough, but they didn't make them game breaking. What happens is that you're presented with different missions that you can complete through your playthrough. You might have to complete a level by killing less than 50 enemies, or you might have to confront that level's guardian and make sure that you kill them with a special attack. They can range from very easy to accomplish to very difficult to accomplish. However, if you complete enough of these missions, you'll unlock a new permanent skill which is going to help you on your next playthrough, but is not going to make it a breeze, let me tell you that. No matter what, this game is probably going to make you die a lot. But that's okay, because the gameplay is truly, truly fun. In addition to the wide variety that you'll experience from session to session, you actually only start off with one of the four technological mages. You have to unlock the rest of them by completing those very same missions. And each mage has its own distinctive playstyle, requires a different strategy to be successful with, and has its own storyline that unfolds as you proceed through the game. 
all of this adds up to a game that is very fun and very addictive that will keep you coming back for more. And this has actually been a bright spot in the last few weeks for me. So I want to say to the developer Clever Place, thank you so much for sending this game to me. It was a pleasure to play and a pleasure to feature it in today's vlog. So looks like it's time to get to the matter at hand, even though it's very tempting to just keep talking about Leap of Fate because it's a great game. If you have the opportunity, try it. I think you'll be glad you did. But we are here for a reason, aren't we? And that's because my generalized anxiety and my clinical depression, which are the specific types of anxiety and depression that I have. And there are many types, but I'm not even going to touch that subject because we'll be here all day. But those two scamps reared their ugly head and they threw a wrench in the works as it were what specifically happened was I had been working on a new type of content for the extendedreplay.com channel that I haven't really talked about at all um, but I started trying to think of what can extendedreplay.com do that I don't really see a whole lot of out there and I'm sure that if I look hard enough I'll be able to find someone who does this but it's not so common to where it would be just another one of these types of shows but I wanted to do a regular series that would introduce indie devs to the viewers and try to help them appreciate and get as excited about them and their products as I get because I've had the privilege of getting to know a lot of great indie devs and getting their support on this channel. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of games that I want to feature for you guys because these indie devs look at my channel and they're like, hey, I like your channel. I'd like you to feature my game. That's a really big privilege in my book. Um, it's very flattering to me and I very much appreciate that. So this was a way that I could show my appreciation. Um, so I've been working with Fake Dice, which is the developer of Dice Denny. I have a few gameplays of it on this channel. Um, Harold and McDarrell did a first look review, a very thorough first look review of it on the ExtendedReplay.com channel. The update that they recently did, which radically changed the game for the better in my opinion, uh, is very exciting. and. I wanted to present these guys to you because I wanted you guys to be as excited about Dice Denny and as excited about Fake Dice as I was. And so because of the amount of research that was involved, the amount of preparation that was going to be involved in each episode, I decided I'm going to try to make this a monthly series. If it turns out that a lot of extra time is going to be required, then okay, I'll make it every other month. But the original goal was every month. And I decided that the first Monday in April was going to be the first episode. That didn't happen. It's nobody's fault. It's just life got in the way. Life delayed it. But when I realized it wasn't going to happen, then it started bugging me. Because it was a goal I'd set for myself. And it was a goal I failed to meet. That set off the anxiety and the anxiety about it made me think about it more. And the more I thought about it, the more depressed I became about it. And there we get that one-two punch, which makes this such a wicked combo. The anxiety comes and it gives me that hard jab right in the nose to rock me back on my heels. And then that depression comes and just swings at my chin trying to knock me out. Didn't quite knock me out this time, but boy did it hurt. So, because of this, it started delaying other projects because there's another type of content that I've been working on for the ExtendedReplay.com channel, which I'm very excited about. And I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from everybody I've shown it to. And I'm like, I can't wait to do this. You know, I hope everybody feels the same way about it as everyone I've shown it to. Uh, because I'm very careful to show it to people who will tell me the truth. Um, and I really appreciate people who are, are willing to tell me the truth and give me that constructive criticism. This is a tangent. I need to refocus. But 
since I did mention it, I want to say thank you very much to Angel of Grace, Britt from Britt Does Whatever, and In Motion because you guys have always been willing to be honest with me and give me honest constructive feedback and that helps me a lot. Okay, let's refocus. <laughs> but since that started getting delayed and it started delaying other things, it just started piling up. This project got delayed and because this project was delayed it also sets back this and it sets back that and sets back that. It just piles up and piles up. So I did the smart thing for me. Something that helps me get through it. I started talking about it. I started vocalizing it. Why is that so important? I'll tell you why. Because in my head it's huge. Every problem is huge when it's in my head. But when I explain it to someone, and I have to go into detail because I am not the type of person who can just shut up. I have to go into detail. And that works for me here because when I do go into detail and I'm listening to myself explain it to someone else, I realize this not as big as I thought it was. So that's why I'm explaining it to you guys because it's not as big as I think it is. The first episode of this show that I wanted to do to feature fake dice. You know, I was worried that, you know, the guys at fake dice and especially Mike, who again is taking a lot of time out of a very busy schedule to answer questions and provide me with information and to work with me. You know, I was worried that they were going to be disappointed, but that, they weren't putting pressure on me and as a matter of fact sometimes they would apologize to me you know when they couldn't answer an email right away even though they're working really hard on their game every day and they are doing some great work on this game that I as someone who has this game and gets to experience the fruits of their labor very much appreciates and in my head I'm taking time out of their busy schedule and if anybody should apologize this should be me but you know these guys are so gracious and such awesome people which is why I'm featuring them in the first place that they worry about how it affects me so on that score they're not gonna be disappointed in me and now I'm telling you guys this I'm hearing myself say it so that helps that's something I can hold on to. That's an idea that I can combat this broken record of anxiety and disappointment and depression that's going on in my head with. You guys didn't know anything about this type of content until I just told you about it. And so you guys weren't going to be disappointed. So who was getting disappointed? This guy right here. This whole thing started because of what was going on in my head in my head alone now not every bout of anxiety and depression is like this sometimes there are very real external factors but you know what from my experience and this is what works for me you know results may vary but from my experience the very same thing helps talk about it realize how big the problem actually is. Keep it in perspective and find a way to focus on the other things going on in your life that are positive. Because there will be things. There will be something else to focus on. And the problem, as big as it is, and sometimes it might be something huge, you know, um, you know, Something that could trigger anxiety is like you're worried you're going to lose your job. That's a very real thing that you should be concerned about. But being anxious about it to the level that generalized anxiety can push you to isn't productive. And so when you realize that and you help scale everything down, it helps you cope with it. Because, you know, you just keep repeating what the actual problem is, what you can actually do about it. And you can get to a point to where you just say, I'm going to do everything I can do about it. And then 
Anything else is beyond my control. And if it's beyond my control, then I'm not to blame. And even though I might have to go through whatever the effects of it are, I don't have to blame myself. Which is a very big thing in my life. Because I have always been concerned with the effect I have on other people. And very concerned with letting other people down. And sometimes I confuse letting other people down with just letting myself down, which is what I did this time. So, to make a long story short, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get through this. Not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But I will. And I'll get back on track. In the meantime, Thank you guys so much, especially if you made it to the end of this video, because I know this isn't the happiest, brightest, most entertaining thing I could be talking about. For those of you who cared enough about me to listen to it, understand that I appreciate you very, very much. It means a lot to me, more than I can express. For those of you who are watching this video because you're going through something similar, Please understand that it's not something you have to hide. It is something that you can deal with. You're not alone. You're not the first to go through these types of things. You won't be the last. There is help. I encourage you, once you get past that first step of saying it out loud and asking for help, it gets a little easier every step. Doesn't immediately become easy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But if you can get the momentum started, you can see some real positive change. The important thing is to start. To not hide from it, not try to hide the problem itself. So I hope that if you are dealing with something similar to this, that maybe this has helped in some way to just let you know you can get through it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Okay, replayers, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to check out today's featured games or any of the things that I mentioned today, be sure to check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to see more of my content, check out the videos to my left. And if you want to see what's going on on the ExtendedReplay.com channel, check out the videos to my right. If you're in the mood to be surprised, then there's a mystery video by a member of the XRP crew, so check that out to find out who it is today. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you can see all the videos I'm going to be bringing you very, very soon. In the meantime, I pray that you all love one another, and until next time, I remain Mr. Ultimate.